So, somebody, who's afraid of snakes? Who's afraid of snakes? Uh, all right, uh, right behind, uh, yes, with the glasses and the black shirt. Have you, you're afraid of snakes? Have you read the 1.2% uh, the factor book that you had? Not yet? I, come on up, come on up. Give her a hand for coming up and risking and, and challenging her fears. And what is your name? Ruth. Ruth, where are you from? Vancouver, British Columbia. Vancouver, okay. I have a picture of rattlesnakes. What I have are rattlesnake eggs. You can get them on the internet. Very exciting. Go ahead and take, take a look at it. Open up, take a look. Very safe. Rattlesnake eggs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I don't know. Look what you have. What are you doing? It's a washer and a rubber band. Now watch this. She was predisposed to observe a certain way. And that way, as you saw, was fear. Right? An appropriate reaction for danger. Let me set a different kind. That's called, by the way, confirmation bias. In other words, you expected something and you got what you expected. Your filtering system saw what you expected. Let's set a different set of expectations. Okay, here's a washer and a rubber band and a wire. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll the rubber band and the washer nice and tight. <laughs> I, I'm gonna show you that this is indeed an empty envelope, nothing else in there. And I'm gonna put it in here. When you open it up, it's gonna move and make a popping sound. Go ahead and do it again. I, not a problem the second time at all. Thanks so much for <laughs> risking your life. <laughs> Thank you. 